Hey everyone, Dan Bernard here with another tutorial and today I want to talk about motion graphics and I want to talk about sound design for motion graphics and how really you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to show you guys what I did. Before we get into this, I want to give a big shout out to Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com who hooked me up with these graphics. If you're not familiar with Rampant Design Tools, um, wake up from your coma. They are freaking awesome. And you're going to go there and just throw your PayPal account at him. And I want to highlight a new product from Wave Brigade, our Motion Graphics Volume 1 Sound Design Elements. Available for instant download at wavebrigade.com right now. And of course, if you click up here on free, you can play around with, uh, with, with some freebies right here. You just need to sign up and it'll send you a link to download some free sound effects. So check it out. Let me know what you think. So right now I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm just showing you guys some different approaches that you can take when doing sound design for motion graphics. So first up here, uh, we have this graphic here where the rampant logo flies in and some paint splatters on it. And it seems, uh, seems pretty simple. And here's what I worked up for that. In addition to the motion graphics pack, I'm also using some of the samplers from the free effects page that I showed you earlier before at wavebrigade.com. I'm going to be using some sounds from Spaces, Impacts Volume 1, and Wooshes Volume 1. But the majority of the sounds that you're going to be hearing are from our motion graphics pack. So these particular sounds right here, the, the swishes, and these are just really nice, quick swish sounds. And I use this just to accent the camera zoom right here. And then added a impact here where the big rampant R hits the camera. And then of course some liquidy squishy sounds to make all that gooey paint just sound that much more awesome. And to bring it all in one place, I used the City 106 sound from our Spaces Ambience Pack. Now for this example, there's not a whole lot to do, but really this is one of those applications where less might be a little bit more. This next graphic here has way more going on. Check it out. Very metallic. It's very industrial. Lots of hot and cool colors going on. Really neat stuff. So here's what I came up with in terms of sound design for this particular motion graphic. Let's check it out. All right, so there's a lot going on here. First of all, this looks like the top of my stove. I'm not sure if Sean was going for that, yeah, it's like a mix of my stove top and Iron Man's chest. Anyway, that was free. So obviously we have a lot happening in here. Uh, there's these metal brackets and things that are turning, just kind of slightly spinning through here. And I was thinking, okay, this is very industrial, very metal. So I ended up using a lot of the gizmos sounds from the motion graphics pack. And these are just really cool little clicks, clunks, slides, all happening in a in one space here. And I thought that would just really accent maybe what's going on behind these gears, maybe behind this plate, there's all this machinery moving to make this big wheel thing turn behind the rampant logo. I also added in some of these creak sounds, which again, I think could be used for a lot of things. I just thought they sounded like little gears turning, which I thought would really accent this particular graphic. I also took this slide sound, this uh, metal slide, and slowed it way, way, way down to make it sound like just a, uh, kind of like a hum of a machine. So these are just the ways that I use these sounds to accent what I'm seeing on screen here. So you can hear this sound slowed down has a big hit at the beginning, which I used as an introduction to this graphic. And it just kind of sounds like burning or a propane torch going or something like that. It just sounded very industrial to me, which I think fit what's going on here. And now let's take a look at the third example here. Got a bunch of these things, shapes flying up and then the rampant logo creatively 
reveals itself and floats here in space for a little bit. So here's what I put together for sound design for this motion graphic. Okay, so again, a lot going on here. There's all kinds of things flying around and sliding into place and then just magically revealing. So this took a lot longer than these previous two, but there's a lot more going on. So I used a lot of these slips and slides sounds to accent all the little pieces moving in this big cube that are revealing the rampant logo in the background here. And really that's just a bunch of these sounds layered in. Um, I also thought that the uh, paper sounds here, if I just right click, go to reveal and project, paper sounds, just the, uh, sounded like folding, you know, things being folded up. And I thought that would be a nice accent to the, really, the really thin, like not even really three dimensional, they're just two dimensional elements that we're seeing sides of, um, slip and slide into place. And they kind of have a thick, plasticky kind of feel. So I just thought, what do I have in this library that would accent what I'm seeing on screen best? And that's really the key element to doing good sound design for motion graphics is finding the appropriate sounds to fit what you're seeing on the screen, not just in terms of motion, but also texture. Another cool element that we have in our motion graphics pack are these dings. So if I navigate to the dings folder, you can hear kind of high pitched bell type sounds, like just ringing from really thin pieces of metal. In terms of this application, I didn't so much use the whole clip as much as just little pieces of the tail end here. So for example, toward the end here, we see these little white lines kind of appear and rotate around the rampant logo to accent it a little more. And I thought to myself, I wanna give those some life, but I want them to be very, subtle and light like they are on the screen. So what could I use to accent that? So I ended up just like trimming off the beginning of uh, the ding sounds and then fading them in. So really you're just left with like a portion of these little dings, but I think they accent these elements very nicely. So again, big shout out to Sean Mullen from rampantdesigntools.com for letting me use these graphics. Really appreciate that. Hope you guys found this tutorial and example of how to use sounds to accent your motion graphics useful. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments on anything I've covered or if there's something that I left out that you wanna see more of, please let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you wanna see more motion graphics tutorials, audio tutorials, post-production stuff, hit that subscribe button and let me know. Once again, my name is Dan Bernard, and thanks for stopping by.